Hi, my name is Fergus Connolly. Over the last 15, 20 years, uh, I've been very fortunate to work with some great athletes, uh, many teams, uh, individual sports, uh, world champion boxers in the NFL, college sport, soccer, international rugby. And I've been fortunate to be a sports scientist, strength coach, performance director in many of those sports. And over the years, I've learned what good performance directors uh, do, learned from some great coaches, and been able to observe many of the skills that have been important for successful organizations and successful performance directors. And today, I want to share with you um, some of the key skills that are needed because um, over the last few months, I've been approached by quite a few people, some who are performance directors who I mentor, and some strength coaches and trainers who want to become performance directors. And it's been, it's been, a, uh, it's been wonderful being able to help them identify the skill sets that they need to develop. And today, I'll go through some of those, and we'll go into one in particular, one in leadership, called vision and explain how valuable that is but I want to make you aware of just three things for those of you who want to be performance directors want to be good ones there's three things that um, the most successful performance directors that I've worked with um, or helped have three areas that you need to be aware of one is technical competency ironically many of you might not uh, realize this is the one that's actually um, least, I shouldn't say least important, but it's the one that actually um, needs least help. This is where, this is your skill set in the area that you've already excelled in that has either helped you become a performance director. So, for example, you've been a strength coach, um, now you've been promoted or you're going to be promoted or you've been an athletic trainer or a physiotherapist and now you've been promoted to the role of performance director. However, to be a truly effective performance director and build a sustainable program and a very effective department, you need to have an awareness across many of these areas. And it takes time, it takes experience, and there are ways that you can develop those skills. Some performance directors have both skills. They've been a trainer, now they've been a strength coach or vice versa, or they've trained, they've done... Um, uh, multiple courses to develop experience in those. So generally what you see is you see a performance director or a high performance manager who's been promoted to a role of performance director. And bear in mind this concept or this idea of a performance director is very, very new. I remember one of the first meetings um, in London probably about 12 years ago when uh, a group of guys met who realized that there was a need for this performance director. Now, one of the downsides is that over the last number of years, there's been a huge explosion in an awareness of the different skill sets that are needed to prepare a team. And the automatic reaction has been to hire lots of people. So now you've got huge performance staffs that perhaps aren't needed or there aren't, their roles are not needed but the responsibilities certainly are. So that's something else we will touch on briefly is, you know, how do you build a staff and how do you identify what it is that you need? The second area um, is one that is probably most important for you as a person, not as a professional, but you as a person in the sense of what are your soft skills? What are you as a person? What is your identity, your purpose, the people who rely on you, your family, your partner? What's your lifestyle like? How does that support the resilience that you need in a very demanding job? Um, what does your career look like? How is it going to develop? Um, and how do all of these things uh, reflect you as a person? 